And hello, everybody out there in Radio Land, and welcome to another Hollywood Today show. I'm your host, Brad Evans, and joining me in the studios of WCAN Radio is my friend and co-host, Mr. Tim Sember. How you doing? Doing good. I'm glad to be here today. I am, too. I'm so excited about our guest today. He's a friend of the show and back to talk about a holiday special that he's getting ready to do. But before we talk about that, let's talk a little bit about Hollywood news. Okay, sounds good. We got Hollywood at our back door again, coming to Cleveland. Always knocking, huh? That's right, that's right. Um, next spring, they are set to do Ghostbusters 3 here in the Cleveland area. And I, I'm so happy about that because that back in the 80s when we grew up was when the first Ghostbusters came out. They yes. did a second one, and I think that's pretty smart. I'm glad that they finally got a script together and, and got this project coming to fruition because they got a huge fan base already, so that's smart. And you know it's going to do well just on that fact alone. Well, especially, I mean, when they did the first two, it, it took place in New York City. Yeah. And so Cleveland looks so much like New York. It has the same atmosphere, so it, it's pretty good. Well, so. Yeah, and, and it's funny you mention that because a lot of people don't know uh, Rockefeller is from Cleveland, and way back in the early 1900s, whatever that was, um, he did a lot of architecture here in Cleveland and then went to New York, which is why street level, there's a lot of similarities in architecture with the two cities. And I do know that Hollywood likes to come here. They did Spider-Man 3 here a mm -hmm. few years back because they made Cleveland look like New York because obviously it's a lot cheaper to shut down a few streets in Cleveland than New York. But um, but back to Ghostbusters, I am so happy uh, that's coming in. And Ivan Reitman is directing. And I had the pleasure of working with Ivan this past summer with Kevin Costner and Jennifer Garner. Uh, on a movie that was called draft that's called draft day about the Cleveland Browns and that's going to come out I believe in the spring of 2014 but it was uh, great hanging out with them and working with them and Ivan was on record of saying on the set that he really loved Cleveland and that he was hoping to come back one day soon and do more movies here because he had such a great experience so he probably knew something back then that uh, he just couldn't say anything you know at the time which is cool but of course you don't know, know me I'm gonna really try to be involved in some form or fashion. I don't care with this project because it's just huge and iconic. So again, Cleveland's going to have another influx of celebrities coming through here. We're becoming like a mini little Hollywood. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, you know, speaking of Hollywood, you recently had dinner with somebody. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I actually had dinner with Miss Martha Stewart a couple uh, weekends ago, and I've always loved Martha. I just love watching her, and I can't really cook. I'm not into crafts at all, zero, but um, I think she's a beautiful woman, and had she was here doing a um, food expo at the IX Center, and uh, yeah, I got to have dinner with her, and um, we had lovely conversation. It was a lot of fun, and she's just cool. Yeah, that's, it's just that's, you know, cool. just Martha's just a cool person, but um, yeah, and I and she actually picked up the tab, which was pretty cool. And I said, Martha, thank you for dinner. It's on me next time, and she just laughed. Can't but, complain. And actually, during the um, at, during the uh, beginning part of the day, I got to hang out with Patti LaBelle. She was in town doing a concert down at the Playoff Square. So um, she is just such a beautiful person. I mean, just out of all the people I've met, she is so warm and wonderful. And being a living legend, I mean, she's the most down-to-earth person. But I invited her to come on the show, and she said she'd absolutely love to do it. So I'm working with her people now to get her on the show. And I just am really looking forward to that. Just, you know, just, just a, a really cool person. But... Well, let's get on with today's show. I'm so happy to have our guest back with us today. You can watch him Monday through Friday on the Hallmark Channel's hit show, Home and Family. Tim, let's go to the Hollywood Today newsroom and let's take a look. Mornings on Hallmark Channel. Innovative home ideas. Delicious and easy recipes. Make your life better with America's favorite domestic duo. Mark Steinis and Christina Ferrari. Home and family, always new. Only on Hallmark Channel, the heart of TV. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so happy to have back with us on the show today, my friend, Mark Steinis. Mark, how are you doing, my friend? I'm good, Brad. How are you? Doing great, doing great. Always great to talk with you. So since the last time I saw you going out to L.A. and visiting you on the set, what has been going on with you? I know you had an Emmy nomination, so congratulations on that. We did, yeah, thank you. Emmy nomination, uh, didn't win, but still getting, you know, right out of the gate, it's so hard to get shows like this off the ground. And right. To not only get uh, off the ground, but be um, recognized for our work is, is remarkable. And Oh, it's huge. You know, the fir first season went well, and now we're into our second. Great. I mean, it's a wonderful show. And I know you're on today to talk about something special that's going to be happening on Monday because can you believe the holidays are here? I mean, I can't believe that before we get into your holiday special. It's just time just goes by so quickly. 
it, you know what it does, and and uh, you know the holiday music is on, and and we ride that right on through Thanksgiving and into Christmas and and New Year's, and it you know it'll be special this year for us because we have a chance to kick off the holiday season with our Hallmark uh, primetime home and family holiday special. So we're um, we're very excited about it, and we've got a whole gaggle of movie stars from Hallmark's family of stars. We've got uh, a wonderful trio coming in from Italy that uh, has a new album coming out called El Volo, and we actually lit up the house like, like uh, Clark Griswold did, it and, <laughs> um, and it looks fantastic. There's not an inch that's not covered, and then we put an ice skating rink in our driveway, wow. and, and it just, it was so festive. There was, even though it was, it's Hollywood, we had snow on the ground, we had Christmas trees everywhere. It just was a wonderful feeling. Well, Mark, I have a question on that. You put an ice skating rink in the driveway, okay? How long did that take to put that in? Uh, believe it or not, they did it in a day. They, it was yeah. not. Um, they use actually. It's a. Uh, it's not. It's not ice. Ice. It's a. It's a. It's kind of a. I don't want to call it plastic, but it's like a surface that interlocks together, okay. and it's not the same as skating. Uh, you know, any skater will tell you it's not the same as being on ice because there's a more forgiveness, you know, because the ice sort of shaves off. I'm not an ice skater, but mm -hmm. but um, this had um, the same look and feel to it, and you, you wouldn't have, when you see it, you wouldn't know the difference. They put some sort of glycerin on the surface to give it a little bit of um, um, sort of lubricant, if you will, so it's easier for the skaters and the skates don't, you know, bite so much. But it's it's a really remarkable, like, I'm like who knew? But that's <laughs> how they do it. It looks just like a rink. Wow, I mean that sounds great, and um, your beautiful co-host, of course, Christina Ferrari. And Christina, if you're watching this, I finally said your name right, Mark. When she was on the show, for some reason, for years, I always wanted to say Ferrar, because I know I've heard people say that before. You think even on the show, and she's like, they yeah. better not have. But Christina Ferrari, of course, your beautiful co-host. I know that she's got some wonderful food um, prepped for this. She does, special. by the way. She's she is from your area there. You yes. Know. Oh yeah. yeah, we've talked about that many times, and uh, yeah, the beautiful city of Cleveland. A lot of people uh, don't realize that, but if you've not been here, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, she's, you know, um, and just one note on the on the last name thing, because I've had that. People see mine, and they say Stein mm -hmm. all the time, so I, I taught Christina a way if she's ever introducing me to somebody or whatever, some one of her friends, I, I make her say, it's Mark Steinus like your royal highness. Oh. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and that like kind of rings true. People remember it that way because they get a laugh out of it. You're right. Uh, so, but but um, she is cooking a three-hour turkey in a two-hour show. There's wow. no microwave involved or no, you know, sleight of hand. Wow. But she uh, demos that, and Naomi Judd is on the show, and she's in the kitchen with her. And it, it's a lot of fun because Naomi shares so many rich, wonderful stories about her holidays and what it was like with her two daughters and what they would do. So there's a point. She tells this great story in the special about how she removed them for a period of time. I'm trying to remember. It was like a year or two, maybe even longer. And they moved up sort of like in the hills and there was no television there was no like electronics for them and she said it was the best thing she could have ever done for kids because they began to sort of explore nature and get outside and enjoy things and life slowed way down for them and um she reflected on that and you know i sit here with my kids and we drove up to our our sort of out of the city place up in ojai and they got the ipad going and the earbuds in and you know there's so much and i stop and think and go wow am i doing them a disservice right. just to keep them from being bored in in traffic but um but yeah it's it's a it's christina's cooking as always oh that's great i know she's a, a wonderful wonderful cook i mean just being like i had the pleasure of uh visiting you and christina on the set back in march and just to see you guys and just the whole and to speak about home and family, a lot of people may not realize that that is an actual house. And that was the cool thing, Mark, when I got there. I know you guys have told me that, but until you go out and visit, you're like, wow, this is an actual functioning home. Yeah, and by the way, you have to come back. So oh, the will. invite is, is out there. The carpet is rolled out. So when you come, you'll – Christina always jokes, but she's like, I'll make you a sandwich. Right. She's like the sandwich queen. <laughs> what kind of sandwich do you want? Rye? What, what bread do you like? But she will take care of you um, – like like your royal highness um yeah you're, that's she, true uh it is a real house brad and i think that's what makes our our situation different than others it really brings a home feel to it relax our guests when they come there and we bounce around like, like you would if if i came to your place or you came to mine we would sit in a room and have coffee and sit and talk or whatever have a beverage 
Um, and uh, that's what I liked about the show. That's what attracted me to it because it's different. And people watching will um, perhaps perhaps stop and give us a moment and go, well, this is really different. This is a different approach. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I like that. Oh, and that's so. true. And it's funny you said that you get relaxed, and that is true because I know I've told you this funny story before, but I'll, I'll tell it again for those who haven't heard it. Um, when I went out there in March to visit you and Christina on the set, I got there, I think, early, maybe before you guys got there, and uh, Christina just threw open the door to her trailer. She's like, sorry, Brad, come on in. She's like, you know, can I get you some coffee? And she jumped up on her couch, said Indian style, and she just all was real chill. And I was, well, as I was, you know, doing the interview and ending the interview, I was holding a bottle of water. <laughs> and it started, I guess it was a little bit open. I didn't realize it, Tim, and it was just started leaking slowly all over. I felt all this wetness going all over my jeans. I was like, Oh, great, but I still was talking into the mic, so I didn't want to, like, you know, disrupt that. So then she's like, well, come on, Brad, I want to show you my house and give you a tour. So, Mark, that's when I saw you with the director sitting in your little man cave there, and I walked in, you're like, hey, how you doing, Brad? And you just, it was so funny, because you just, like, looked at me and looked straight down, you said, what happened? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I had a little accident with the water bottle, but hey, it's fun, but, you know... It's just yeah. it's just fun to be relaxed and just be goofy and just laugh at yourself. But yeah, yeah, we don't, you know I think there's I've done other talk shows before, whether it's the talk or or you know, Rachel Ray or whatever. And from a, from people who are watching the show, they may not come across this way, but there's a real sort of um, um, business to it. Get them in, get them out, rotate them in. Guests here, you get put in a room. They six producers come in and they fluff you and fold you and twist you around and get you all primed for and then they usher you out there and stand by and you write it right off the side of there and then they big audience and they applaud and you go out and you kind of feel like you're a dog and pony show sometimes and it mm-hmm. doesn't seem authentic for from a guest point of view or intimate where ours is completely inverted like that you you not only you know you, you depending upon who you are, but there may be sort of a grand entrance, if you will, coming through the front door, but it's just the crew members where there's clapping for you, and we drag you into the different segments if you're interested in the cooking segment and take part in tasting the food and go outside and do a workout section or, or sit in on the family chat and talk about, you know, swaddling babies or whatever we have on the show that day, and you just you don't, you just feel part of the show yeah. um, and not just a little spoke in a wheel. Oh, Absolutely. And, uh, and, you know, thank you again for the invite, and I'm definitely going to take you up on that because when it gets – the winter sets in here in the Midwest, which, of course, you being from Iowa, I know you know what that's like. I'm definitely yeah. going to come out again and visit you guys. But I know it sounds cliche, and we've always talked about it, but when I arrived at the set that day, from the production assistants to you guys, the hosts, the director, producers, what have you, everybody, like you said, they, I really felt like the red carpet was rolled out. You guys treated me with such, you know – love and open arms and it was just great and um that is conveyed onto the screen so for the viewers at home that are watching it that's why i think it's such a success because you can just really feel that just bond from like everybody on the set 100 crew members plus however many there are but um that's why i think you guys have just got such a great thing going it's, it's just it's just a wonderful thing you know well, to that's watch. part of you know we have the home mm-hmm. and you're talking about the family part and that's really fulfillment of our of the name of our show yeah in essence it's a it's a home and family show and you know we we have gelled that this year we've done something that's very similar to what the show was in the 90s is we brought in family members Mm -hmm. meaning we have regulars who come on the show and there's uh what did we bring in probably 10 of them nine ten of them and uh, i know you know shirley bob shaw and i know you know debbie metanopoulos Mm -hmm. and, and some of the others that are on the show and they're in in fact, the show we just shot recently, Debbie was in three segments oh, wow. that she was involved in. And, and so it, it helps from a variety of standpoints. One, just to carry a, a load of a two-hour show every day is demanding as a co-host. Mm-hmm. But when you have others there that you can kind of lean on. And we have beauty experts, Kim Douglas, who's, who was on this show back in the 90s, and now she does stuff with Ellen. She's also on our show as well. Yes. Um, it's just a hoot. And we have developed... Our, like if you just drop in the show and watch it once, you're not going to get. You'll get a flavor of how we kid and rib mm-hmm. each other and tease, and that's what families do. You know, not everybody is nicey nicey. We are poking fun and giving cheap shots to one another and and having a good time, and it's all done with love, and we all have an utmost respect. Absolutely. But that's the part that is so enjoyable. I look at the rundown every day, and I'm like, oh, Kim's on the show, or Sophie Liana's going to be here, Debbie's back, and and. 
they give me as a as you know a host of the show, co-host of the show, so much material to work with. They they're in charge of delivering that material and information, and and we can sit back and kind of probe and go deeper with it, or joke with them, um, or tease them, and it and it makes that. If you're not interested in the segment, it's still wrapped in a ball of entertainment. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you, you definitely see that. And one of my favorite segments, I've told you, and I always tease Christina about it, is when you guys play the games. I mean, I love to watch that. She <laughs> wasn't too warm you know, to the fact of playing the games at first, but she had told me last I talked with her a couple months ago that she is warming up to the fact now because <laughs> I guess yeah, she's so she, competitive. Christina doesn't care for the games so much. Yeah. I, I enjoy them when they're, when they're good games, yes. you know, when people are involved. And, and we have Fabio Viviani, who's one of our chefs. Mm-hmm. A lot of people know him from, from the, you know, his days on television. But he is a laugh riot, this guy. And um, we played Password with him. And he was just, he was just uh, unleashed. It was yeah. so funny to watch. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, the games are good. That's that's a Woody signature, though. Woody Fraser, who's the creator of our show, that's his signature. He always feels, you know, families should be playing games. Mm-hmm. It goes back to the fact that you know, get off your iPad, let's play a game. And I do. I, and in fact, that's a really good point. I went out to dinner one night. We went with a friend, and and we were four of us, my two boys, and this friend of mine, and. So while we were waiting for our food, instead of the kids going, oh, I got my iPhone, um, I taught them how to play Password. And now it's sort of a tradition when we have a four top to play Password. Mm-hmm. And I won't get into how it's played, but if anybody who's listening or watching doesn't know what it is, you can Google it and look it up. And there's videos uh, way back in the day when oh, TV yeah. shows. Yeah, I, I find that um, important nowadays because iPhones – are everywhere. Mm-hmm. iPads are every. Everybody has their nose yeah, in some down. of that equipment, mm-hmm. and it's nice to get your family involved mm-hmm. and yeah, play and, games and, and learn some things. Yeah, and that's part of what we do. Is if anything, we can get you know somebody sitting there bored over the holidays, going, "Wait, we have families coming." Oh, you know what? I saw in a home they play Family Feud, Home and Family Feud. Let's try it. It's not difficult to set up at all. And, right. Um, and so we'll play that game, and we play uh, song verse, which is great, which is completing the lyric. Yes. It's almost like name that tune in a way. Oh, yeah. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of fun ones that we've had. Uh, we've even done the one where you, you take a dozen of eggs and you hard-boil half of them, and the other are raw, and it's your job. You just have to pick the egg up and yeah. smash it on your forehead. I saw that. I watched you yeah. guys do that. That was pretty funny. I lost. <laughs> I saw. I know. I remember. <laughs> I've never Christina heard that, loved that though. Never heard that game before. It sounds like fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. And the person whoever gets three because there's six raw. Yeah. And six hard boiled, and whoever crashes and smashes three loses. <laughs> um, so I lost. Well, and Woody knows it, what he's doing for sure with, with that. So that yeah. it's it's so much fun to you know as an audience to watch that. Well, with yeah. the holidays coming up, I know you got two wonderful boys. What do you guys have planned for Thanksgiving? We are going to um, get out into the country. As I said, we have a, I have a place up in Ojai, mm-hmm. which is out of the city, and I have to escape. I'm a you know I grew up in Iowa in the corn, amongst the cornfields near Field of Dreams and all of that. And um, so we're going to come up here, get back to nature, and relax. We're actually going to Christina's for Thanksgiving. Oh, that'll be um, wonderful. Yes, I'm going to make um, Brussels sprouts with bacon, a recipe that her daughter uh, has in her cookbook. And so I'm going to take that. I know it'll be put to the test, but, you know, everybody will be wondering, oh, is it good? But I'll I'll, I'll make it. And, um, um, yeah, we'll, it sh- and we're just going to relax. You know, my boys are overloaded. You know, kids in school, they get so overloaded, and I don't want to have them exhausted going back so we'll do that and then we're going to go back on that sunday before you know um you know after and we'll be in the hollywood christmas parade Mm -hmm. which they love and we'll take part of that um and um i'm not sure if hallmark is airing that they aired it last year they may be airing it again um uh, that parade has been around here's a little bit of trivia see if you know this uh well now that i've told you but Mm -hmm. um in the in the song, um, here comes here here comes Santa Claus here comes Santa Claus right down Santa Claus Lane. Yes, Santa Claus Lane is Hollywood Boulevard. Really? Uh, because yeah, they would they wrote a song for when Santa would come down the lane way back because the, the Hollywood Christmas Parade has been around forever. Wow. And so he would come down Santa Claus Lane, and of course that was all decorated. It, the, it, the Hollywood Christmas Parade has had some major major stars. You know, back in the Bob Hope days and things like that. So, oh yeah. Um, yeah. So I well, hosted cool. it two years, and it was just.
just a blast to do, and it really kicks off your season well, you know, to a good start. Oh, kind of yeah. like what our special is doing. It just starts to, you know, echo through your house, mm-hmm. you know. Well, then, like I said, Christmas will be right around the corner, and I, you told me before, I, I like this tradition that families have traditions, and since we're talking home and family, um, you do something special with your boys on Christmas. Is it morning or eve? Christmas Eve. We do, a, yeah, we do a Christmas Eve. Yeah, I'm, yeah, good memory. Um, uh, we have, um, we make pizzas, homemade pizzas. We set out all the toppings, and it's all set up in little dishes, and they get to roll out their dough, and there's flour everywhere. They're getting better because they're getting older, so mm-hmm. it's not such a mess. But the first couple of years, oh, my goodness, it was just flour everywhere. <laughs> and um, and actually, this year, I'm going to steal a recipe from, we had a guy on the on the show who has from Zagat, people call it Zagat, but it's called right. Zagat Magazine, the number, you know, where they rate uh, restaurants, is the number one pizza place in that magazine. It's down in Long Beach, California, and he gave up the recipe for his crust, and we put it on our website, Hallmark website. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lift that recipe and um, use that for our dough, because I usually just went out and bought some, but I'm going to try to make the dough, mm-hmm. um, let it rise, and then and use it the next day. And then I also learned from Dean Charmay, who... Um, is a chef and was married to Leanne Rhymes and all that, but he's a chef. He's been on the show and he grills his pizzas on his barbecue. Oh wow! So we're gonna give that a try as well this year. Then you know, keep it in the oven, but throw some of them on the grill. Uh, and that, that's awesome. I think that's cool that you have that you can do with your boys. You know, you've done it ever, ever yeah. since they've been around. They love it and it keeps their hands busy on Christmas Eve and keeps them interested. And then we also, you know, we're Christian, so we make a little baby Jesus birthday cake. That's and great. set that out, and they get to decorate it and put frosting on it and candles and stuff. So it's just to remind them of what the spirit of Christmas is really about and why we're celebrating that day. That's awesome. That's great. Well, Mark, we do have some emails that came in previously, so let's get to sure. some of those, Tim, some of your adoring fans out there. All right. This comes from Denise in Long Island, New York. She writes, hello, Brad and Mark. Mark, I'm so excited about your upcoming holiday special. I love watching you and Christina every day. Home and Family is my favorite show. I never miss it. Congrats on all your success, and I know I will be tuning in. Oh, awesome. Well, that's nice. Thank you, thank you. It's good to get that feedback, you know, and just know that there are people out there watching. Because some days you just leave the set going, is this just zapped off to Mars and, you know, nobody sees it? And and that's, I think, the the joys of having Facebook and, and social media. We really to stay connected so we want to hear the voices of the people out there oh absolutely and it's such a wonderful age of technology right now where you can be directly you know involved in and what's going on it's funny you say that because christina will because she's you know just so old school it's so fun to be around her in a fun way and Mm -hmm. she's she'll always say you'll hear her on the show she's like we want to hear from you send us your cards and letters and i just look at it like really (laughs) cards and letters (laughs) cards and letters and you know Obviously, she knows better than that, but she um, that's how people communicated back then. They actually had to get a, you know, a, if they wanted to reach out to their favorite show, it was a card or a letter, and they had to, you know, send it to them. And, right. Um, right? So it was, and that's kind of neat to get, but now it's so much easier just to post something on our, on our board. You yeah. Know? And, and we get the feedback, and we, you know, some people you, you, you wonderful comments. Some of them you kind of go, well, I'm sorry they didn't like that segment or they want more of something else but we try to we try to respond to and you, and you know as you should say mark to christina when she says that again send your cards and letters say christina that was the home and family show you did back in the 90s <laughs> right. <laughs> right right tell her exactly. that next time <laughs> she's like she'll just hit you i know but on a side note it's wonderful to see the dynamic between the two of you because you know i've seen it firsthand and now you, you can really see it on the, on the air as well you two do have a close friendship off of the set as well, and that's really cool to see. It is, you know, I, I just feel blessed to be able to mm-hmm. say that, um, yeah. you know, and going over to her house for Thanksgiving and with the boys, and we're really, we have family, we're very yeah. close, our families are extremely close. Yes, yeah, that's awesome. All Good right, you. this comes from Michael in Tampa, Florida. He writes, hello to all. Mark, who has been one of your most interesting interviews and why? Most interesting interviews and why. Um, well, Mark, being on Entertainment Tonight for 17 years, I know you're probably going right now spinning. you probably hundreds, maybe thousands of interviews. You've yeah, I, I'm, I'm buzzing through a Rolodex in my head. You know, typically I answer that 
favorite interview would be a Cher or a Travolta. I've got really nice friendships with those guys, so whenever I see them, it's like old friends, and we get together if I do a movie set. Hugh Jackman is amazing as an interview. I think the one that was really challenging for me, in a good way, um, was Lisa Marie Presley, because she was so guarded when we sat down. Mm-hmm. And having just, she, you know, here's a woman who was married to Michael Jackson, who is the daughter of, of the king of rock and roll, and she was putting out her album at the time, and she'd been in the tabloids and all over the place, and she'd never voluntarily put herself in sort of in the, in the line of fire, and now she had to. She had to deal with the press to promote her album, so she was very guarded about stuff. And being able to strike up a really good rapport with her and have her not only stay with me through the whole interview, but then extend it by an additional 20 minutes Usually you get an interview that's like you can get it for 12 minutes or something like that. And she just kept going, and she and, and I finally ended it because I was like, okay, well, we're good. I got everything I need. I felt bad, but we had such a good rapport um, when we sat down and talked. And there's a whole backstory on, on what happened during that. But um, that to me was so interesting because, I, you know, seeing somebody turn about in an interview says a lot about them staying in the moment with you and then your interviewing skills, and it just gave me a great validation of being able to work that celebrity interview. It was well, yeah, absolutely. She, she felt comfortable with you, so that, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. And this comes from James in Reno, Nevada. He writes, I know you have done some acting. Are you still interested in an acting career? Um, I am to a certain extent, but I, you know, I studied for almost five years. I did Groundlings Improv, which is sort of like Second City, but for the, for the left coast. Uh, and I studied a Meisner, at a Meisner school for two years and have a degree and then did some additional studying after that. Um, I'm kind of past that. I mean, I would, like, Christina always jokes and wants to do, like, you know, we should do Mark and Christina's Hallmark movie. You know, we would mm-hmm. do something that would be fun and not playing who we are, but together in a movie. Yeah. And I would love that. That would be a great time, and, and maybe Hallmark will go there at some point. But the lifestyle of an actor and where I am now in my life, to try to make that transition is very difficult. You know, there's you see so many big TV uh, film stars moving to television because that TV has saturated, you know, people's homes across America and now mobile devices. Sure, you can go to the theater, and it's still the number one, you know, um, spot to go to see your movie stars but you know to have a TV show that you can go to and not have to go live in Siberia for three months in a tent because you're filming these crazy scenes and all over the place and, and um, you know you are shooting Transformers or have Michael Bay have you hanging off of some you know pyramid somewhere after a while I just can't, that is interesting and fascinating but only for a short time yeah, you know, I, I I prefer now at this point in my life and in my career, I've done a lot of that stuff to, to sort of have a mainstay and stay where I am. Well, that sounds good. Well, Mark, unfortunately, time zipped by again, as it always does when we talk with you. And we like I said, we can sit and chat with Mark, get us a cup of coffee, and two or three hours go by before you know it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. I know. I I have to write a book. Yeah, That's you how do. My friends are like, you need to write a book and tell your stories. Oh, absolutely, and all yeah. the people you've talked to and stuff. But yeah, it's just it's some really interesting celebrity run-ins and in in situations that I think people in the business would, you know, appreciate. You know, yeah. those I get a lot of broadcast students who want to, you know, how do I get that job? How do I get to do what you do? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how I got it. <laughs> very lucky. A lot of perseverance, right? And it's uh, yeah. talent and so much variables put in there. If there was a, a magic way to do it, you'd bottle it, sell it, right? So. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. In a heartbeat. <laughs> exactly. A heartbeat. Well, Mark, I, w- I want to connect every um, your fans to you. So I know you're on Facebook, right? Mark Steinus on Facebook. Yep. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter, on Pinterest, on Instagram, you name it. I'm all on it. Um, Twitter is just at Mark Steinus. Yeah, at Mark Steinus. And you also have your own website, MarkSteinus.com. Dot com, yeah. I need to overhaul that. I need to update it. But it does have some of my photography stuff on there, which is my second love. Yes. We don't really talk about which is fine. But I, I um, if you go there, you'll see. You'll be like, oh, I remember these pictures. But, yeah, there's there's some. And I need to start putting – I have so many pictures. I've, on my computer system at home alone, I have about 130,000 pictures. Wow. So, um, and 
and some of your artwork or pictures actually are blown up and hanging on the walls at the Holman family house. I saw when I was out there. We so, do, and, yeah. and we have some up. You know, I, I had a gallery up for a while in L.A., and then we took that down, and uh, now they're hanging on the walls of my place up here, which is it's nice because the, uh, the, the gallery showing itself was about my travel photography while working at E.T., so now that I'm gone from there, I have these you know, very wonderful, vivid memories of it, and it's, they're all surrounding me. So it's sort of a flashback, a walk down memory lane. But um, we just sold a couple of them for to the T.J. Marcel Foundation, which is uh, helping pediatric, you know, AIDS and um, Children's Hospital and, and looking for cancer research and stuff like that. So um, I'm sorry, not AIDS, but cancer research and mm -hmm. leukemia and things like that. So um, I donated about uh, six pieces, and we sold three or four of them. So it's it's nice to be able to use what I love to give back. Oh, that's awesome. That's wonderful. Well, Mark, my friend, you are welcome back on the show anytime, and I'm definitely going to see you this winter sometime. I'll be out there and visit you on the set. And please tell Shirley Bobshaw that I said hello. Of course, Christina Ferrari, and I've not met Debbie Metnopoulos yet, but tell her that uh, hello for me, please. I will, <laughs> and when you come out, Brad, pack your sunscreen. Okay. And an extra pair of dry jeans. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> I'd like to remind everybody you can watch Mark's special, Home and Family Holiday Special, this Monday, November the 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern and Pacific Time. Well, thank you, Mark, and thank you, Tim, for joining me again on another Hollywood Today show. Until next time, take care of yourselves, keep living your dreams, and have a wonderful evening.